Hello YouTube friends, Alicia here. So I'm standing outside my craft room and I am finally ready to show you my big craft room. I don't know if I've ever shown this. I may have. Um, I tend to show my small craft room but this one is reorganized in a way that I'm happy with it. It's not totally clean but it is organized in a way that I'm happy and um, so I'm going to show it to you now. Uh, this I've had for a while. It's I saw a YouTube tutorial on just making their um, sh over the shower hangers and then you add um, dish mats uh, to them. But anyway, so this has my sprays and stickles and I'm gonna actually push the door open just so that I have some light. Um, stickles and then different things that I make um, sprays with. Chalk ink, more sprays. This is my Distress Stain which I found out the other day it's not being made anymore, so that's kind of sad. But I have three baskets of it. I don't have all the colors, I wish I did. Um, more sprays, sorry, it's not organized. This is my alcohol ink, my Tim Holtz alcohol ink. I do not have all the colors of those either, but I also have um, some other alcohol pigment, or, alcohol ink and then I have pigment ink but I don't think that's in here. Um, sparkles, embossing powder, embossing powder, and that's where we started. So there is that and I love that um, little section. And then on the back of the door I have a shoe hanger full of paints which I am in here all the time when I'm doing any kind of stuff in my art journal. This is pretty much all dollar store thrifted paint. Um, I do not have any really expensive paint in here. The bottom has some different mediums, which I mean, of course, are not from the dollar store, but this is basically all my cheap paint. And then we have a closet which has books um, for junk journals. Uh, and then I have um, some fabrics. I have so much fabric I need to get, go through. Some fabrics, more wooden stamps. Uh, if you saw my other one, other craft room video, you know I have wooden stamps in that room as well. Stencils that I don't use that often. Um, just some white shirts that I want to alter. Well, I was trying to do iron on. It didn't work, so... I got those ones to try again. Um, in that corner there's napkins and some wallpaper, more fabrics, some of my washi tape. On the bottom is a tote and a suitcase full of laces and then on the side here there is um, vintage gift wrap and gift bags which I mostly don't use for gift wrapping. I use uh, mostly for journaling purposes. Um, and then here I also like this setup. These are some dollar store bins. I have my favorite glue, which is um, foam and border adhesive. It's by Beacon. It's, I don't know what Fabri-Tac is like, but this is the closest I have to Fabri-Tac as far as it's by Beacon. It's from the Dollar Tree and it works fantastic. Um, the glue sticks that I use, pretty much the only ones I use some distress crayons and chalk crayons, my Tombow markers, um, watercolor and alcohol markers, they're mixed, they're just from the dollar store, and then my um, Bic markers. That's just ephemera in there that's just there because I don't know where to put it, wallpaper, tags, and yeah, just stuff. <laughs> um, okay, and then I'm gonna go this way and I have I love this unit as well this was one of the things that changed this was always in my laundry room which you can imagine how useful that was for me I just I didn't I had to reorganize this room to get this in here so this bin right here has all different embellishments that aren't like paper and same with that bin. This is all paper stuff, um, note cards, wooden stuff, wooden blocks, and 
things like that. Um, coffee sleeves, little envelopes, foam, more paper, wood and mixed media, game cards, chipboard buttons, and flowers. And then I have this, which I'm not going to really go into because I've done a whole video on what's in my Ikea cart, but it is all different like mediums and things like that. So there's watercolor, um, acrylic, pastels, all that kind of thing is in there. This is another one of my um, bookshelves up there. It's just envelopes and cards. This is stuff that's not for journaling, so I can use it for like, well, there's wood in there, but like fairy gardens and uh, mixed media. It's not actual so much paper crafting stuff. Um, another bookshelf full of um, things for junk journals and my art books and things like that. My babies, which I absolutely love. I am succulent plant obsessed. So I have all of these and then I have one over there. And that's not nearly all of them. That's just what's in this room. This drawer here has paint in it. So this has some of my more expensive like Liquitex paint, um, my dollar store tempera paint for making sprays, and then my Sargent Art um, for making sprays as well. And then this is actually like sample house paint, but it works really well. So that's what's in there. This is like tool and things like that that I don't necessarily use very often. Different fancy yarns. This third drawer is pretty much just a mess of mixed media stuff and other crafting supplies that is not journal making. This is all paper stuff like large papers, um, game pieces, and things like that. And I'm hardly ever in there. I'm hardly ever in this um, dresser actually for anything, if I'm honest. Uh, here, I didn't. I don't think I showed you wallpaper sample books that I got really cheap, and I should use more often, but I don't. Um, okay, and then over here is my vintage sewing machine. It's not the one I actually use. The one beside it is what I use, but I love it, so I have it. This little drawer with beads and things that I mostly don't use that I redid. I spray painted it and then decorated it. it. Turned out really nice, but yeah, I don't really use the stuff inside of it, so yeah. Um, this is resin stuff, which, yeah, I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about how I feel about resin before. It's not my favorite. <laughs> this is mixed media as well. These are all different rolls of paper, glitter paper, wrapping paper, butcher paper, vellum, cork, things like that. Um, vinyl. No, not vinyl. My vinyl's in another bag. But yeah, anything that comes in a roll is basically over there. Um, this, okay, so this looks really weird. The reason it's like this is my table used to be where my dresser was. Um, and that's why this is here because it used to be right above my table. But this is just a mix of stuff. So this is my tripod goes in there, some tools, um, ribbon, rickrack, seam binding, things like that. Ephemera pieces that are just there. Uh, guest check. Uh, index cards and things like that. Sorry. This is just paintbrushes and things that I might grab on a regular basis. My cross stitch horse picture, which I absolutely love. I did not cross stitch it, um, nor would I ever do cross stitch. My eyes are not good enough for that, but yes, I love that picture. Um, my vintage typewriter, which I also love, but I need to get more ribbon for, and then I can use it. I've had it for a number of years, but I don't have ribbon for it. So I need to look at what kind of ribbon it needs. Uh, my laser printer. And then there's, in that tote is just 
my red line adhesive, my red tape adhesive. The top drawer has die cuts. This second drawer has mixed media. When I say mixed media, I don't necessarily mean mixed media like canvas. I mean other crafting stuff. It's not, yeah, it could be like wreath making stuff, Christmas making, anything. That third drawer is a gift drawer for mostly like my nieces and nephews. Um, sadly, two of my nieces are no longer in province, but anyways. Um, that, and then the top drawer over here has different scrapbooking tools, so does the bottom drawer. The third drawer has just loose papers, so there's some digital kits, um, junk mail, things like that. And then in the gray drawer, the top drawer is um, all my tools. I'm in that drawer all the time. It's not craft related at all, but it has all my basic tools. Um, the second drawer has... I forget. I knew about 10 seconds ago. Oh, it's all, not all, but just stamps. I have so many stamps that, yeah, <laughs> there's just stamps in there. Um, my highly expensive printing paper. This bottom drawer has beads um, for charms and dangles and jewelry making, but I don't enjoy jewelry making. So, I don't do it very often. Um, this has just sewing supplies extra. This is sewing threads, buttons, ribbons. Um, and then this has glitter in it in my glass bottles, brads. Um, this is basically my niece and nephew's craft drawer. So it's all kids craft supplies. This is mixed media. And this is actual mixed media. Like it's different foils, my plastic to put down for painting, plastic um, tablecloths and things like that. The bottom one is my wood pieces. Okay. And then this is where it's going to get interesting. So here's my super messy craft table. I'm working in my art journaling book. Ouch. Um, so I think these pages are done. I haven't decided what I'm doing there yet, but yeah. So this is where my table is now and it's just a mess. So I'm not even going to talk about that. Um, so then on the behind here is my regular inkjet printer, scan and cut Cricut. Uh, below that is, oh, I need to move this chair. Sorry. So below that is some of my Mod Podge wood glue, things like that. And then my Cricut cartridges and books are there. Uh, ephemera pieces. The bottom drawers, all different papers, transparencies, labels, um, page protectors, all that kind of thing. And that far corner, there's vintage magazines. No, vintage. Uh, vintage newspapers. My close to my heart stamps. And then just index cards and things like that. Um, are on the bottom. And then over there is um, some... On the top is lanterns that I will alter. I have done a couple of them, but... Um, yeah, there's a few more. And then a, another bookshelf. Just full of stuff. <laughs> And then I have this this uh, wire unit and this, not poster board, but uh, the board, f foam board that you can get at the Dollar uh, dollar Tree. I've made, so that this is my 8.5 by 11 papers. Not the cardstock, but just loose papers and my 8 by 8 papers are in there as well. On the top is just a basket full of empty boxes. The gridded box has completed ephemera pieces in it. On top is this vintage ephemera, like in that red basket. Um, sorry, there's buttons and just different journaling pieces. This shelf here has a completed journal, some vintage pieces, and then 
um, some of my uh, books that are like royal, not ro ro yeah, royalty free or like public domain books. This drawer here has stuff for fairy gardens and mixed media and cookie cutters and all of that. Um, this, sorry, box, not drawer, box here has, oh, it's cutting in and out, um, vintage books and book covers. And then on the last one is my paper cutters, my cinch machine, laminator, and heavy um, card, not cardstock, heavy chipboard. The next shelf I have just the ephemera pieces again, like time cards, packaging, flashcards, and that. And then, sorry, it is a mess. This here is all is more of my digital prints that I have. I have this thing. I ha if I buy a kit, I have to print it. So I have binders and binders of <coughs> sorry, binders and binders of printed kits. Um. Anyways, and then this is all fabrics in that one. And then on the bottom, I have. Well, not, no, the second to bottom is, um, this is paper ephemera, but store-bought, like, so it's just all different things in there. Um, and then there's tree bark in a bag, which should actually be on the top. But anyways, so this is, yeah, paper ephemera down here. Um, you're not going to really be able to see it. And then on the very bottom... Is more paper envelopes my regular printing paper some wrapping paper and then on the very bottom the last one is punches and I'm hardly ever in there so that's why my tables all the way to this is because I don't really need a lot of access to those bins but yeah oh and then I guess I have one more thing that's not super exciting, but under here, under my table, I have just a white cart. I think it's from Canadian Tire, but, um, so it has some of my basic stuff in it, my foam tape and glue and the, these are my favorite paints. They're from the dollar store, but they're like metallic and then fluorescent and sparkle. I don't use the sparkles, but the metallic paints are my favorite. Um, and then on the bottom or the middle is my Posca pens that I just got, more sprays, and then on the bottom is just a basket of stuff that I didn't know what to do with, and I wanted it on, off my desk. <laughs> so yeah, and then this is my messy craft desk because I've been working. That is um, most of my craft room. If there's anything specific you want to see, let me know. I have tons of stuff, but I mean, I've been doing this for about 15 years. And, um, truthfully, about 75% of it is thrifted. Um, so, yes, I have tons of stuff, but it's not new stuff. It's either thrifted or from the dollar store. Um, I mean, I do obviously buy some things new. I, I did, did just buy, um, these, which I'm really excited about. And I bought them from my craft book store scrap oh my goodness my scrapbooking store and then of course yeah like I said I get some things off Amazon but 75 to 80 percent of the stuff is thrifted so that is how I have managed to accumulate so much stuff um without spending so much money anyways like I said any questions or comments leave them below you want to see anything closer um let me know and I can do that as well